Hi to all my sewing and designing friends. It's Marcy from MarcyTilton.com. I'm really happy to be with you today. Finally, the weather changed here in Southwest Oregon. It was 90 last week. This morning, it's rainy and gray. I love it. It's perfect weather for me in my life to switch out my closet from my summer things to my winter things, which I did over this last weekend. And I came upon two garments that I have loved and worn probably more than any other two pieces in my wardrobe. This vest and this vest in my pattern Vogue 1817 and made in cotton flannel, which is such a fabulous fabric for so many, many things. You can make a shirt, a dress, a quilt, a baby blanket, a dog coat. Let me talk a little bit about these fabrics, which first of all are eminently washable. You can throw them in the washer and dryer, although I don't recommend putting them in the dryer a lot. I wash them and hang them up. This garment is now two years old and you know, I pressed it, I took the dog hair off of it. It looks like new. This one was such a big hit that last year I made a sister, which I wore a lot. In these particular garments, I combined more than one fabric. So we were counting this morning. I think there's four different fabrics in this one and three different fabrics in this one. I did a springtime version where I used two fabrics. So let me just show you some of the cotton flannel possibilities that I came up with this morning. These are all getting ready to go on the website. One of the ones I really like a lot is this combo because this season gingham is hugely popular. So here, what have we got? We've got three different ginghams and they're all harmonious. I think this is really a fun combination that could work in this vest or in my own life, I'm thinking also about a dress that I would wear in the winter time, a cozy dress. Then for people who love blue, we've got a beautiful blue trio that work really well together. So there's a buffalo check, there's kind of a spin on a buffalo check, and then a really beautiful solid color. Here's something to think about when you're combining these fabrics and it actually will show up in this group and that is they don't have to be perfect in fact it's better if they're not too perfect so like on this one the whites aren't exactly the same but that's okay on this one the blacks didn't quite match but when you put it together the eye mixes them all in the gray story i picked this one and this one. It would work with the darker check or you could just do the two together. The one thing I would say is do pre-shrink these fabrics before you cut them out because they will shrink a little bit. Then you're going to want to press them. The garment is fun to make. You can make it symmetrical just using the short side or the long side or you can make it as the pattern is so it ends up being asymmetrical on the back. So here's what I'm thinking. First of all, dresses and I'm not really much of a dress person I'm more a pant and top person but a dress feels wonderfully warm and cozy like with leggings and little boots so I'm thinking dress I'm thinking shirt or tunic this season I am having another love affair with green I just got new green glasses so I'm looking at the green buffalo check and the solid green maybe for a dress uh, maybe for a tunic Maybe for kind of an oversized, cozy shirt. I'm not sure yet. Stay tuned. But in the meantime, I'm hoping you'll get over to MarcyTilton.com and check out our fabulous collection of flannel fabrics, as well as many, many other marvelous, beautiful fabrics and textiles. Thanks so much. I'm Marcy from MarcyTilton.com.